Hi everyone, welcome. So today we are going to discuss about the strategy regarding UPSC Geochemistry exam. This Geochemistry exam is a very very popular exam, very very powerful exam too, especially for the candidates who have completed their BSc and MSc in respective chemistry field especially right so <clears throat> i have already provided this pdf okay uh, so this pdf is just regarding the syllabus of upsc geochemist stage one so i have uh, i have already provided stage one and stage two syllabus in my telegram channel if you don't have this syllabus please go through telegram channel then you will get this syllabus there okay so i'm going to talk about the syllabus of stage one only for, uh, actually, this exam has three stages, stage one, stage two, stage three. Stage three is your interview. So you have to clear first of all stage one. After that, you have to clear stage two. So in this video, I'll be uh, talking about the strategy of stage one only. Okay. Once after you clear the stage one, I will talk about the stage two. Okay. But in this video, I will stick to stage one only. Okay. Right. So first of all, if you observe, uh, so and one more thing i'm just suggesting you again this exam especially is very very important exam and for the general candidates also if you take the upper age limit maximum age limit is 32 so up to your 32 age you can write this exam right so very wonderful exam so my suggestion is don't miss this opportunity and this exam uh, the notification will will just come in november and your exam will be in february i think right but um, if you feel that you have more time no don't feel like that you don't have enough time because if you want to prepare for this exam you have to give your dedicated time at least one year dedicated time you have to give right at least one year dedicated time you have to give for this exam otherwise you can't qualify this exam because this is upsc okay upsc is conducting this exam very very powerful at the same time um stage one you can easily clear uh, stage one of this particular exam but stage two is uh, somewhat complicated it is it is somewhat difficult to uh, crack stage two because in stage two you have to write because that is descriptive in nature that is the descriptive exam this stage one is objective exam so just like csr net gate and uh, any other competitive exams so the stage one of this examination also will be uh, like that only right so you will have objective questions only you have to mark them but when it comes to stage two that stage two paper is descriptive okay so first of all clear the stage one so once you clear uh, after that we, we can talk about the stage two okay so if you see the exam pattern so i'm going to talk about sources pattern and everything you don't need to worry i will discuss uh, i will discuss about everything in this video okay so first of all if you see the um, pattern so when it comes to chemistry right when it comes to chemistry so you have first of all uh, in chemistry paper you have 300 marks total you will have 120 questions so for 120 questions you will have 300 marks two hours duration right in two hours you have to uh, attempt 120 questions you don't uh, don't have to leave any question right uh, if you want to get more marks right so total 120 questions you will have 300 marks two hours duration and one by three negative marking per question okay so when it comes to general science so in this stage one you have two papers so one is general studies okay one is general studies second is your chemistry subject okay i will tell you how to study general studies you don't need to worry about the general studies i will tell you okay just wait just wait for a wait okay so when it comes to general studies so you will have uh, total again 120 questions but 100 marks now again two hours duration one by three negative marking per question okay so only you will have 100 marks 100 marks 120 questions here you will have 300 marks so totally uh, 400 marks in both the papers all right okay so first of all when if, if i talk about general studies actually you have very huge syllabus okay you have very very huge syllabus like um, generally civil aspirants okay upsc civil aspirants prepare this all syllabus of general studies but we as a chemistry aspirants we don't need to prepare this all uh, chapters of general studies okay so only important chapters because in this stage one especially in general studies paper you don't need to score uh, more right so without scoring much you can easily clear this stage one okay if you have a very good command if you have a very good good practice 
okay if you can practice more if you can practice questions more on uh, your subject that is chemistry then you don't need to worry definitely you can clear this exam even though you don't have that command on general studies okay so generally in general studies paper you have uh, indian polity geography history everything these all things are there okay but you don't need to focus on those particular chapters only study three things okay because when i was studying uh, for my uh, for my this geo chemistry exam i studied these three things only okay i have cleared prelims okay so just i have missed uh, mains by just few marks so that's why i'm telling you okay right so current affairs general science general english okay so just you have you have to prepare these three chapters only so for the current affairs what you have to do so many websites are there okay so ias baba uh, website is there and so many websites are there especially um, current affairs by chanakya right so many ias websites are there you have to follow their websites okay you have to search on google so by just google search you can get so many questions on current affairs you have to follow daily current affairs at least um six months current affairs okay try to remember six months current affairs for suppose uh, uh from september november december january february okay okay so just try to remember the current affairs from the september or august from the august to january to january because you will have the exam in february so that try to remember the current affairs of current affairs from the august to january okay those six months current affairs are enough you don't need to uh, study anything other than that okay six months current affairs are more than enough next general science when it comes to general science just you have to study um, biology okay so from 9th 9th 10th are more than enough you don't need to study 11th and 12th also okay if you have the time study 11th but 8th 9th 10th you don't need to study 8th also but focus on 9th and 10th okay 9th 10th uh life sciences uh, means biology life sciences uh chemistry chemistry means science okay physics and chemistry both are there you have to focus on them okay so 8th 9th 10th okay general science you have to study to clear this uh to clear the questions on general science okay that is more than enough so uh, the source is source for general science is you, you you can follow ncrt textbooks okay you can follow ncrt textbooks along with ncrt textbooks just type general science okay 8th 9th 10th general science on youtube you will get more number of videos okay so next when it comes to general english general english actually one book is there that is lucent general english lucent general english right so this lucent general english is more than enough so just try to read lucent general english if you search on google you will get free pdf of this lucent book right so free pdf is available just try to download that download that lucent um, uh, general english pdf and try to read as fast as possible and try to note important points in that general english okay and also on youtube so many uh, videos are available regarding this general english general english means uh, you have to know about noun pronoun okay tenses okay uh, so these on these all things you have to have a clear idea right next so lucent general english so you have to prepare these three chapters only then you can easily clear so because in general studies paper if you get at least uh, 10 to 15 marks that is more than enough because there is no separate cutoff for gen for your general studies paper there is no separate cutoff okay so uh, they will give cutoff uh, in a in a random way right randomly they will give the cutoff but they don't provide the cutoff for general studies so that's why if you just score 10 to 15 marks that is more than enough in your general studies so if you prepare these three chapters you can easily score at least 20 to 25 marks okay in some cases you can you can easily score 30 marks also okay right <coughs> next so when it comes to this okay so i have already provided this pdf in telegram okay so we have only 11 chapters in chemistry we have only only 11 chapters in chemistry very very easy exam completely direct questions will come if you are the csr net aspirants if you are the jam aspirant if you are the gate aspirant okay 
if you would have already studied these all chapters for your competitive examinations this stays one examination is very very easy for you will be very very easy for you trust me completely one mark direct questions will come just by, by seeing the questions you can do most of the you can you can do more most of the questions just by seeing the question just by seeing the question okay you don't need to think more okay by just seeing the question you can do the questions right okay so very very easy exam direct questions will come all questions are of just your plus 1 plus 2 level plus 1 plus 2 level will come if you have the notes of je okay if you practice je mains questions they are more than enough okay so for practice for practice we have to follow je je mains you don't need to worry i will provide i will provide questions for practice in our telegram channel okay time by time definitely i will provide chapter wise questions chapter wise questions i will provide you okay je mains questions and chapter wise questions i will provide you in our telegram channel you don't need to worry okay so you don't need to worry about the pra about uh, practice questions i will provide you in telegram channel okay right so first chapter is spdf so spdf is just a topic of the first chapter but in first chapter if you see if you see iupac uh, periodic table this is not important general characteristics of spd and f block elements for spd and f block elements just study your csr not, net notes okay gate notes is more than enough otherwise otherwise iit jam notes is enough otherwise just study ncert textbooks ncert spdf is more than enough so you have to study just ncert ncert for this you have to study ncert okay so spdf is very very important next effective nuclear charges screening effect atomic ready ionic ready covalent ready ionization enthalpy electron gain enthalpy electron negativity so this is all about the periodic table okay so for periodic table and chemical bonding okay oxy acids of s block p block elements spdf chemical bonding and periodic properties you have to read from ncert okay first chapter is regarding your periodic properties spdf block elements and chemical bonding right uh, for chemical bonding also ncert is more than enough okay ncert is more than enough fajan's rules and everything is more than enough so you have to you don't have to for chemical bonding you don't have to study your ncert uh, uh, sorry csr net notes csr net and get you have to study uh, ncert for chemical bonding right periodic properties spdf and chemical bonding chemical bonding is your second chapter for chemical bonding valency bond theory molecular bond theory so for these all chapters you have to ready read ncer textbook okay next coordinate bonding in coordinate bonding you have a very less less, less syllabus not like ncrd sorry not like csir werner theory of coordination compounds double salts complex salts ambidentate and polydentate ligands chelate complexes iupac nomenclature of coordination complex coordination numbers geometrical isomerism stereo isomerism square planar and octahedral complexes for this coordination coordination chemistry if you have the jam notes iit jam notes that is more than enough Al along with iit jam notes again you have to study ncr okay so for coordination also for coordination also okay so for coordination also you have to you have to study iit jam notes iit jam and ncr okay this is more than enough next acids and bases acids and bases for this acids and bases you have to study chemical and ionic equilibrium in this chemical and ionic equilibrium uh, ncrt is enough okay chemical and ionic equilibrium uh, ncrt is enough so i will provide you the notes of chemical chemical and ionic equilibrium in our telegram channel and practice questions on that strengths of acids and bases ionization of weak acids and bases in aqueous solutions ostwald's dilution la ph scale and everything buffer so for acids and bases i will try to provide the notes in telegram and i will give you the questions also okay you don't need to uh, worry about acids and bases i will provide you okay 
So next one is quantitative inorganic analysis, volumetric analysis. For this volumetric analysis also, I will provide you. Um, I will try to provide you some questions. Otherwise, I will try to make one video uh, on practicing the questions on this particular quantitative inorganic analysis. Okay. So quantitative inorganic analysis, we will do the questions on this. Okay, we will do the questions on this. You don't need to worry. Next, kinetic theory and gaseous state. So this is also NCRT is enough and practice JE mains level questions. Okay, I will provide you mains level questions on this. Next, chemical thermodynamics and equilibrium. So for chemical thermodynamics, you don't need to prepare chemical thermodynamics uh, in depth of CSR net. So just basic. So we have um, second law of thermodynamics, Gibbs function, Helmholtz function. Okay. Criteria for thermodynamic equilibrium, spontaneity, first law and applications, thermodynamic functions, okay, free expansion, Joule Thomson coefficient, Hess law. Okay, we have very limited uh, topics on this chemical thermodynamics. For this chemical thermodynamics, again, you can study NCRT along with that IIT jam notes. IIT jam notes and practice jam level questions or JE level questions. Okay. Next, solutions of non electrolytes. Solutions of non electrolytes routes are relative lowering of vapor pressure osmosis and osmotic pressure so if you have the gate notes this is more than enough okay if you have the gate notes that is more than enough for this solutions and next one is electrochemistry so for this electrochemistry you have to follow ncrt so along with ncrt just do the questions okay along with ncrt just do the questions okay so next basic organic chemistry for basic organic chemistry uh, it is very very easy uh, if you have the CSR net notes for, for basic organic chemistry that is more than enough okay just uh, CSR net and gate level questions will come okay so for this you have to follow CSR net and gate okay so next is stereochemistry for stereochemistry also you have to prepare CSR net level CSR net level or gate level notes and CSR net and gate level questions too okay and GOC CSR net level and gate level questions next types of organic reactions for types of organic reactions and organic reaction mechanism SN1 SN2 E1 E2 total named uh, uh, named reactions reaction mechanism you have to follow your CSR net okay CSR net notes is more than enough CSR net and gate level okay this is also CSIR net and gate level okay so uh, one two three four one two three four five for five chapters you have to follow ncrt along with that ncrt you have to follow jam for these two chapters i will provide you i will try to provide you the notes in telegram and for these two chapters you have to follow for these three chapters you have to follow csr net and gate notes along with that you have to practice csr net and gate questions okay these are the 11 chapters if you have a good command on this 11 chapters you can easily crack the exam along with that just try to complete these three chapters you can easily uh do more score in general studies also okay so if you clear your stage one then you will enter into the stage two okay after once you enter into the stage two i will talk about the stage two strategy okay so that's all that's all for this video thank you so much